they are recorded. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, light, sweetness and love. To thee do we cry for a banishment of thee. To thee do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech Thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. The same Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Mother of Christ. Mother of the Church. Mother of Mercy. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Help of migrants, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. 
Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes, Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes, Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Grant that we, thy servants, Lord, may enjoy unfailing health of mind and body, and through the prayer of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, in her glory, free us from our sorrows in this world, and give us eternal happiness in the next. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
good evening good people welcome to st mary's church after 20 months welcome to your own home as we are very happy to be back to celebrate the holy mass as you know we are on the first sunday of the advent and as you know we have the permission to distribute the holy communion and from last friday onwards you are strictly advised to keep one meter safety distance as you come to receive the holy communion and return receive the holy communion in your hands and consume it immediately we would like to thank everyone who have prayed for this intention and made it possible father lenny parish priest dear sisters mm -hmm. and brothers as it's a special conditions of the pandemic we don't have the facility for individual confession but god makes uh, different means in the church to get the grace so that we may experience the mercy of god in the form of general confession and absolution general confession and absolution remind us that we stand before god as a sinful community which ask pardon together for our failings we are also reminded that when we sin we do not only sin against god but also harm the old christian people let us therefore turn to god sure of his mercy and examine our conscience we ask for his forgiveness and healing your response shall be amen three times as three prayers god the father does not wish the sinner to die but to turn back to him and live he loved us first and sent his son into the world to be his savior may he show you his merciful love and give you peace our lord jesus christ was given up to death for our sins and rose again for our justification he sent the holy spirit on his apostles and gave them power to forgive sins through the ministry of entrusted to me may he deliver you from evil and fill you with his holy spirit the spirit the comforter was given to us for the forgiveness of sins in him we approach the father may he cleanse your hearts and clothe you in his glory so that you may proclaim the mighty acts of god who has called you out of darkness into the splendor of his light and i absolve you from your sin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit this mass intention is for the all of the parish for you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all sisters and brothers advent we start is a time of waiting for christ allowing jesus to be reborn in our lives it is also a time for purifying purifying our hearts by repentance and renewing our life by reflecting on experiencing coming of christ in our life let us examine ourselves and allow the holy spirit so that 
Christ may reborn in our life, in our attitudes, in our personalities, and the context where we live and work. Ask God's grace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have prayed to do, through my God, through my thought, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Miss Mary, your virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant you are faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Jeremiah. See the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I am going to fulfill the promise I make to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will make a virtuous branch grow from David who shall practice honesty and integrity in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Israel shall dwell in confidence. And this is the name the city will be called, the Lord our integrity, the word of the Lord. Be to, God. to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. His ways are faithfulness and love for those who keep his covenant and will. The Lord's friendship is for those who revere him. To them, he reveals his covenant. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. May the Lord be generous in increasing your love and make you love one another and the whole human race as much as we love you. And may he so confirm your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless in the sight of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus Christ comes with all his saints. Finally, brothers, we urge you and appeal to you in the Lord Jesus to make more and more progress in the kind of life 
that you are meant to live. The life that God wants, as you learn from us, and as you are already living it. You have not forgotten the instructions we gave you on the authority of the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for gospel acclamation. together. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars. On the earth, nations in agony, bewildered by the clamor of the ocean and its waves, men dying of fear as they await what menaces the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coercent with the debauchery and the drunkenness and the chaos of life, and that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth. Stay awake praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters, brothers, parents and friends, and those who are joining us on, online. As we are on the first Sunday of the Advent, and also after 20 months, we are together in our church for the solemn celebration of the Holy Eucharist. As you know, and you experience, and you miss this church, now you are back. What a great joy. As all of you experience, we miss the church, and now we are back, as the church is your home. As now in the Advent is a time of waiting for Christ, preparing ourselves for the coming of Christ in our life. Me and you tell different words and adjectives for God, no? God is love, God is mercy, God is compassionate, God is my light, my truth, my strength, my hope, my courage, my healing and my liberation and everything we say. What we say about God is to be personalized. And we need to experience the rebirth of Jesus in our life, not only when we are here, but to the context 
the situation where we, where we live and to the different aspects of our personality. So, we need to allow God to be born in our life, in the different aspects of our life. So, try to see yourself as God see yourself. No? We say God is love. So what God is seeing you? God saying that I love you. We say God is mercy. God is forgiving us. So God saying to you, I show mercy to you. I show forgiveness to you. I am generous to you. I am giving hope and light and encouragement to you. I am the liberator. I am the truth. So whatever we say about God, we need to personalize it with what God seeing you. In that way is the way where we allow God to reborn in different areas of our life, personality. There are still some areas we need liberation. In some areas of our life, we need that light of God, which is still not bright. Or some areas where we are still in the bondage. Or some areas where we are still need forgiveness, giving forgiveness to others. God, we say God is forgiveness. And as we, I experience forgiveness, I do give forgiveness to others. I do show mercy to others. As God respects you, you show respect to others. So if we are rereading the presence of Jesus in your history and in the different realms of your personality, there will be a transformation in your life, a complete change in your life. That is why we want God to reborn in different areas of my personality. There are, we live 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years, 70, like that. So in all the areas of our personality, we allow God to born so that we may be purified by the word of Jesus. His word is truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, way and light. Let his word purify us. Let his word sanctify us. Jesus is the light. And let the presence and experience we have with Jesus gives light in my personality, in the different areas of my life. Jesus is my hope. Jesus gives hope to my life where it was shattered. Jesus gave enthusiasm to my life. Allow Jesus wherever there is brokenness, wherever there is healing. Jesus is the true liberator. Allow him to liberate yourself. So in that way, when we allow the, in different areas of our personality, we grow in Jesus and Jesus is reborn in our life. Jesus is the justice. And if we love God and allow justice to be ruled in our life, what a great thing. We say God is mercy and compassion. Allow God to take, guide, control yourself so that you show mercy to others. As God is showing mercy to you, compassionate to you, show that compassionate to others. As God is, we pray to, for the justice of God, show that justice to others. And 
different areas in our personality and also the contest. It is a God who gave husband to you. It is a God who gave wife to you. Let you be a light and blessing to your spouse and to your children and to your parents and, the, and to the colleagues where you work. Things are changed. When we are able to see the eyes in that way, which God seeing me, when I am able to see myself and others, Christ is really reborn in my life and in my circumstances and in the contest and in the family. Also, all of us, knowingly or unknowingly in our personality, a lot of fear is there. A lot of anxieties is there, Con consciously or unconsciously. Allow Christ to rule you, rule me. Jesus said, I am with you. Don't be afraid. Be courage. Don't be afraid. If we see God as he sees me, he's saying to me, I am with you. Get courage. Don't be frightened. In that case, we get strength, we get empowered, and we are transformed. This internalization, this personalization of the power of Jesus in our life really helps us to reborn. Let Christ reborn in our life, in our attitude, so that we give Christ to others. We become blessing to others. And also, we are healed, we are liberated, and we are sanctified. And we, Jesus gives meaning to our life, giving hope to our life, giving purpose to our life, giving fulfillment and satisfaction to our life. Allow into the every areas of our personality the brokenness of your past things will be different. It is that matters important in Advent than the external celebrations of Christmas. It is with this internalization of Jesus being born in our attitude, the external expression of stars, scripts, Christmas trees, and other celebration makes worth and meaning. So how great our God is. Again, God has a hope in you. God has a trust in you. God has a trust in me. God has a trust, hope in me. So we are changed. We are transformed. And we get focus and we get goal in our life. We get enthusiasm in life. We get purpose in life. And we get this spiritual energy that helps us to glorify God. This spiritual energy of internalization of God in us, reborn of God in us, helps us to radiate that light of hope and that light of fellowship and compassion and concern and sharing. Also, Jesus will be coming on his second coming, which we do not know, but we need to be prepared. But once we are prepared within ourselves for the coming of Christ in our day-to-day -day events, as we conclude, we get, we get that strength, spiritual strength, stand direct to face God. That is why saints are happily entering into the another state or facing death in a happy way. And I wish a blessed advent for all of you. I wish and pray you personalize Jesus in your life. I wish and pray that you and me get 
sanctified, purified by the word of Christ, which is truth. Me and you get guidance by the GPS as Jesus, as he is the way. Let you and me get life in its abundance through the love of God expressed through Jesus Christ. May you all be healed. May you all get transformed. And may you all get hope and enthusiasm in life. Thank you for patient hearing me. And we continue to pray in the Mass. And after 20 months, we are privileged to receive Holy Communion. And let the body of Christ nourish us, transform us. And with that eagerness, we make the profession of faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty. In his love, our Father in heaven sent his Son into the world to fulfill our hopes and give us eternal future. Let us pray to him and our response, Lord, you are our hope. Lord, you are our hope. As we prepare for the coming of Christ, may we be a people of honesty and integrity, alert to the signs of times, as we wait for God's promises to be fulfilled, we pray. We pray for the rulers and people of UAE for welcoming us into this country, that the Lord may protect them, grant them wisdom, good health, and benevolence, we pray. Paul urges us to make progress in living as God wants. In this time of Advent, may we resolve to be generous in love and blameless in God's sight, we pray. May we be a people of hope, confessing our God as our Creator and Lord, ready to welcome the Son of Man, whose coming brings our liberation from sin and death, we pray. Lord, you are our hope. For people without hope and courage, for those suffering from hunger and wars, that we may relieve their hopes by building a better world with them, we pray. Lord, you are our hope. Let us pray for our personal needs. Lord God, your loving kindness enables us to find your son wherever he comes to us in his word, in this meal, 
and in our brothers and sisters let our prayers at this eucharist prepare us to welcome him at the end of time when he will be revealed as lord of glory forever and ever amen <laughs> Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devotedly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up our Lord. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design of your form long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and with all hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciple saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Paul our bishop and all the clergy religious and the laity remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph as spouse with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit you be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever the savior's command and found by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our savior Jesus Christ Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid the rising things, you teach us by then to love the things of heaven and hold fast to do what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcements. Change of schedule of mass timings. With more masses allowed to be celebrated, there is a change of schedule of mass timings on different days. Please check the website and the notice board for these changes. Masses online morning 6 a.m. every day, evening 6 p.m. on Friday and 7.30 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. Monday to Thursday. Language masses will be as usual. Please contact your community coordinator for the further information. For more details, please check the church website, stmarysdubai.org. On the occasion of the Golden Jubilee celebration of UAE, we'll have a Thanksgiving Mass on 2nd of December, Thursday at 7 p.m. All are welcome. St. Francis Xavier Feast, St. Mary's Goen are celebrating the annual feast of their patron St. Francis Xavier on 3rd December. In preparation for the feast, there will be Trudem Mass online at 8 p.m. on 30th of November, 1st and 2nd of December 2021. All are invited to participate in the Trudem. Parish Synod. Pope Francis has declared an extraordinary synod for the entire church. In preparation for that event, Pope Francis has invited the entire church to start listening to the faithful from the grassroots level. We have uploaded a questionnaire given to us from our vicariate in Google form on our website. Request you to take this opportunity to give constructive suggestions on how the church is to be loved and respected in the new world. Thank you. Now let's have our prayer for mercy against coronavirus. Merciful Father, the dangerous spread of the fatal coronavirus across the world has unsettled the world in all aspects of life. We are in fear, misery, and pain. We implore you, Holy God, Holy Mighty God, we are our God, our defender, our protector and healer. Keep us safe from all threats of hidden dangers and of death diseases. We pray that nobody will be affected anymore with the deadly virus. The Lord be with you. Bow down your head for the blessing. Say Amen three times. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace we have pleased your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with His blessing. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. So that rejoicing now with the devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, once again, thank you very much for coming after a break of 20 months. And thank you very much. It's your home, your church, 
and we thank God for this occasion to be assembled here to celebrate this Mass after a gap of 20 months. Have a blessed Advent. Thank you.